What's up guys, it's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy, and today we're gonna wash some chairs. For those of you who don't know, I have a rental company that I started right here at my house. And I grew big enough to uh, actually move into a warehouse. And uh, a lot of my job is cleaning, so I could actually consider myself uh, kind of a professional cleaner. Wash all of your chairs, wash everything. Make sure everything that goes out is absolutely clean as can be because then you can threaten your customers. You can say, hey, like if this isn't returned dirty, there will be cleaning fees charged. But you can't say that to the clients if you're sending them stuff with uh, dirty marks on them. So uh, keep that in mind because they will return it clean if you threaten them, but you can't threaten them unless your stuff is clean. So clean your stuff. I have an email that's on a template on my rental program bookable that I use uh, to send to clients to remind them when they are returning and the threat is in there. This is the email I use. I have some white resin chairs going out early this morning and uh, I got to make sure they're clean. So there is a process to washing them. So uh, let's do it. Warning, this is a very boring video, but if you are in the rental industry and you're looking to wash some chairs, wash some tents, uh, this will be very helpful as you won't have to be trying different things to wash it. Just uh, watch this and then you'll know how to wash your stuff. All right, so this is a white resin chair. Uh, it's quite dirty. They're gonna go out today, so just magic eraser. It's, it's damp and then a dry cloth. So, just one, then the other. The magic eraser just seems to loosen the dirt and then the dry towel just wipes it clean, right? So I've got eight foot ABS tables here. I've got eight foot ABS tables and if you can see up close, they got some uh, stains on them. So there's only two good ways that I know of uh, to get these deep stains in. This is kind of like, almost like the same material that like a cooler top's made of. So you can uh, close range, uh, pressure wash it, and that gets it clean. Or else you can uh, use a scour pad to lift the dirt and then uh, wipe it afterwards. So that's how I clean uh, this sort of top there for ABS tables and coolers. Also, goo gone. If you got stickers or tape on anything and they leave the gooey residue, this is what you're gonna wanna use. Gonna wanna use, gonna wanna use. Make that goo gone. So I wanna show you this little contraption that one of my uh, tent mentors uh, sent me a video of. We always chat back and forth and whenever I have tent questions, I consult him and um, because he always gives me the right answer. I need the right answer, not the quick fix, the right answer. So anyways, he made up this little contraption and he shared the video with me, so I'm gonna share it with you. Um, hopefully that's okay with him. I think I asked him at one point before if I could share it. I think he said yes, if not, I guess uh, this video is not gonna live for very long. Anyways, check it out. And then there's paint. I love paint. You can use appliance paint on the white folding chairs. Just give them a touch up. And for the tents, use SEM uh, color coat. It's a vinyl spray with UV inhibitors in it and just paint right over and it becomes vinyl on it. It works absolutely fantastic. All right, this wall right here, eight by 20, bad. So this one was no return. Can we make it return? Let's find out. So a lot of these tactics, other than the SEM vinyl 
color coat trick that uh, I believe that I pioneered uh, were taught to me by the tent guy and other entrepreneur stuff. So there is a way to clean uh, mold and mildew from tent tops. Uh, but I'm not going to share it with you. You're going to have to go over to Tenkai and other entrepreneur stuff's channel to go find out that little tip. Um, as a thank you for him teaching me stuff and me just being the copycat YouTube channel. And as always, you stay classy. You stay classy. But for real, go head over to Tenkai and other entrepreneur stuff. Check it out there.